Hello everybody, XP Gamer here, and welcome back to more Celeste. Last time we <laughs> didn't finish Reflections B-side, but uh, we got pretty close, and I accidentally, well, accidentally uh, reset the stage. So... I thought it would be a smart idea to, um, is, this is the B-side of Summit, correct? Anyways, I thought it would be a smart idea to reset everything to default, that way quick restart can only happen if I actually go to the pause menu. I believe this is the B-side. Yeah, this is the B-side. Okay. So anyways, this time we're doing the B-side of Summit. Because I kind of gave up on the B-side of uh, Reflection. And if I have to go back and do that, I suppose I will. That was my bad. Anyways, uh, I've been getting... As you probably know, quite upset with Twilight Princess and Celeste. And I did not know I could do that that quickly. Wow. Um, you guys probably know that. So I'm going to try to get less angry. Simply because, well, life is pretty tough. And I know people cringe when, like, young people say stuff like that. Don't worry, I, I don't mean, like, anything really bad. I just mean, you know, school, I have a lot of work to do constantly. I'm um, running cross-country, trying to watch my eating so that, you know, I can lose weight because I've been, like, I'm, I'm not overweight by any means, but I've been watching my eating, basically doing a ton of, oh my god doing a ton of tough stuff and I don't really have much time to play video games which is actually why I'll let you in on this right now after Celeste and Twilight Princess I plan on making the majority of my LPs blind from here on out that way I can still play new video games while not wasting like too much of the little time I actually have outside of school and everything so basically where this is all headed is I'm going to try and be raging less because this time I have to record is like very little. I have, this is basically my only free time, like outside of school and everything. So I'm, I don't want to spend that little free time I have to do what I love playing video games. I don't want to spend it getting pissed off all the time. I mean, every here and there, I'll probably rage just a bit because, um, you know, that's, it's gonna happen. It's gonna slip. I'm not a very patient man by any means, but I'm just gonna probably not be raging as much because I just need to enjoy this time I have because with school picking up now, work picking up, uh me trying to lose weight and track or sorry not track cross country just having me completely tired out by the time I get home every day I don't want to spend this little time I have getting angry so anyways yeah the summit B side is no walk in the park by any means maybe it's easier if I yeah that's a lot easier This is a very, very difficult uh, B-side. Definitely the hardest one yet, I believe. But it is totally doable. Also, sweet remix as always. <laughs> it's basically the standard now. Oh, dang it. So I'm doing this wrong. What you want to do is hit this. Really, I should probably be doing this in the order, like the actual way it's supposed to be done, which is that. That way you can just land straight on this thing. 
from there. Oh, dang it. So you, you want to make this fall so that the spring launches you straight to that platform. From there, you can jump around, land over here, and barely get that. Okay, that was pretty close. Also, that's a very large room, so... Thank God! Oh, dang it. Okay. Let's not die this time. I need your momentum. But without you crushing me, please. Alright. Good. I got it. From there, we go up here, and I love this. Like, just that little section of bopping back and forth, I don't know. It's it's basic, but, like, it's so cool, because it's not really done in the game. And you need to watch a speedrun of that section. Like, not even that, just doing that section fast. Like, it's not, it doesn't take that much skill, but it's so satisfying to, like, do that, do that little section there perfectly. It's just awesome. I don't know, that section just, I love it more than I probably should. It's not too special, but dang it. You can't jump out of that thing, because I did that once, and as you saw, I just basically immediately died. Oh. Okay, I jumped out of that. That's supposed to jump out of that one because I did that time and it just launched me way too far. No. Let's just go out of that one normally. Dang it, I knew I should have done a diagonal. Okay, this is taking longer than I thought. Uh, also, in case I do need to complete the uh, B-side for reflection because I know um, it is... I'm pretty sure all B-sides are required to unlock something even later on, but I don't know if it's all. There might be a few exceptions where, you, like, you could skip one or two. If not, I don't really know if I want to go back and do that, so, like, probably worst case scenario, I might just go to my, um, like, near 100% save file and just do it on that. That's kind of tough, because if you hold left, you hit the spikes on that wall right there. Ah, oh, so close. So you kind of have to dash out of that, or dash down out of this second block. But you have to be close enough to the spikes to where you, well, far enough from them that you don't die, but also close enough to where you can dash into that block right there. <laughs> Dang it. Ah. Yeah, this room is pretty, pretty tough. Excuse me for that brief moment of silence. I got a text about a cross-country race tomorrow and the time of it, because, you know, I'm unprepared and don't know when something went... Well, I'm not good with times, so I'll just say that much. I can memorize the release date of a game that doesn't come out for months, but I'm not good with times. <laughs> like, oh, when does Smash Ultimate come out? December 7th. Okay, when's your next orthodontist appointment? Uh, no, no, I don't know. Just kidding, I actually do know when my next orthodontist appointment is, because I actually care about my teeth. Which is why I have to have braces to begin with. <laughs> We're only at like a thousand meters right now. And we're already at around nine minutes. Yeah, this one's tough. Uh, Alright, let's finish this room. Why don't we? Gosh dang it! That's not me raging, I'm not upset. But I thought I had that, that's all. Okay, there we go. Oh, this room. This room's a sucky boy. Go 
we do. Whoa. I did not think I'd go into that so quickly. You go up from that one. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Ah, oh, uh, This room can be pretty tough. It's neat, but it's very, very tough. Okay. Oh, last stash. That's always insulting. <laughs> okay, that was just flat out stupid. <laughs> you see? Two, one or two episodes at the go, I was complaining about deaths that are flat out stupid. Now I'm laughing at them because I'm stupid as well. I don't think that's how it works, but you get the point. Less rage. Less rage. Although that was admittedly pretty funny, re-watching me rage and quit the level after it happened at the very least. I keep doing that. Check out, uh... Shameless plug-in, check out Jeb's new channel, XP Highlights, where we'll be putting memorable moments of mainly co-op LPs, because that's where most of the memorable moments come from, but uh, also a few solo LPs, like I'm pretty sure he said he's going to put up that Celeste clip on it. Okay, there we go. I'm pretty sure he said he's putting up that Celeste clip of me like quitting as a memorable moment on his on XP highlights. I guess I'll take this time to explain just exactly what it is. Basically, uh, memorable moments like from past LPs. So like, say Wooly World or something, he will upload. I think he said one a week. I mean, I don't know how that'll go, but he said one a week. Oh, I missed the jump. And then aside from those from past LPs, once I start uploading our next Co-op LP, which by the way, the only reason I it's taken so long is because he isn't able to come recording for a bit. And we have like the first three episodes recorded, but uh, I don't want to upload those three episodes if I'm not sure when we'll be able to record next, because it's not going to be for a while, I don't want to have a giant break. But uh, once I do start uploading those, it'll basically be... He'll upload a best moments video for each episode. So say, let's just say, um, what even was our last co-op LP? Shoot, why do I forget this information? There we go. Uh, what was it? Why am I not remembering this? Oh, Star Allies, Star Allies, yeah. So say I just uploaded, like, just uploaded like Star Allies episode 1. He he said he'll upload a best moments for that video alone. Then once I upload episode 2, he'll do like episode 2 best moments. Just so, you know, it keeps his channel active so he doesn't have to wait for a whole LP to end to upload a uh, best moments video and then I actually haven't mentioned this, but I think maybe he should do like it'd be a cool idea to do a top 10 best moments of the LP after, like, after the LP ends, but I don't know. It's still a work in progress. The only video video he's uploaded so far was one I recorded simply as, like, an introduction. Also, yeah, this part sucks. This room also sucks. I really despise this room right here. You have all these boys everywhere. Whew, I got lucky there. Ah, oh, I thought I'd make that without like having to deal with him, but then I remembered the things that like plop out once you touch them. And they, I already grabbed onto that area, so if I actually went for it, I would have been dead. Shoot. Oh, that sucks. This also kinda sucks. 
Oh my god, I avoided him. I thought I was dead, so I just didn't dash. That's off timing. Uh huh. I don't know if we're gonna beat this within half an hour. I mean, yeah, I could go over, but who wants that? Okay. Also, I'd really prefer not to go over, because it's getting pretty late. It's a school night. I have a race tomorrow. <laughs> so yeah, I'd prefer not to go over time on recording. Shoot, I thought I might be able to jump that, but no. Okay, so I think my best bet is to do... Ugh. Yeah, this... Uh, whatever it's called. Why do I keep doing that? I know I'm gonna die. <laughs> whatever this is, 1500 meters? Kind of the worst. There's so many of these rest red dust mites that just go with such a sucky pattern that's so hard to get down. Alright, there we go. I cannot make that without another dash, so do that, I guess. Cool boy. Oh, I hate you. Okay, I should probably go for that one first and not be a fool and do what's been killing me so much. Which would be go to that right wall without a dash. Oh my god, how does... Mm. I know I'm on the right track going for this one first. I mean, order doesn't matter, but, you know, since that's the most difficult one, you might as well get it over with first that way. You don't risk dying after having them all. Oh my god, come on. I will take that. Oh boy. I might run out of stamina here. But um, boom, boom. Yes! Okay. Now there's only this room left. But this room is also very, very stupid. And I've seen speedrunners who don't even have this pattern down. Just because the pattern for this room is so strange and so random. Well, not random, obviously, because it's a pattern. Oh, come on. I literally walked up into that. Oh, if I just kept going, I probably would have had that, but I stuttered for a bit. Mm, this room is one of the worst. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, that was the last one, too. Who knows? Maybe that screw-up is... Nope. I thought, like, maybe that screw-up will get the pattern down. But maybe that screw-up will get my pattern down. Okay, that would have been great. If I had just... Not died. This is looking good! Okay. Done. Okay, I believe this is 2,000. We only have this and the mirror temple left. Um, like I said a few episodes ago, the B-sides are like, you know, I barely ever play them. So... And, you know, typically I do them in chronological order as well, so this is one of my least practiced stages in the game. 
I really do not remember any of this aside from, well, those horrible rooms in, uh, the, um, what was it? In the resort. I also do remember this, this room right here. Which isn't too bad, actually. It's just... I don't know. It's not bad, though. It's not a bad room. If I'm not stupid about it. Alright. Come on. No! <laughs> that was spot on. I mean, I almost died right at that part right there. Dang it. Oh, should have jumped. Right, come on, little platform. Don't fail it, Uncle, now. I don't know why I said Uncle. Whoa! Oh. I don't know if I'm playing badly today, or if it's just, you know, what little practice I have on this stage. I was... Uh, why did you stop climbing, Madeline? I swear I was holding up that whole time, and she just stops climbing. Alright, whatever. Okay. Done. I believe we're only two rooms into this, however. Oh yeah, we need to, we actually do need to wait to get snowballed there. Of course, it kind of sucks. Yeah, okay, we have to do it twice. At least jumping on these things isn't the worst, like the most difficult thing to do. Okay. Come on. Let's do this quickly. Oh, I see what I'm doing wrong. I think I do, at least. We wanna, yeah, we want to grab onto that wall. That way we can just go like that. Jump off that cloud. Shoot. Okay. Also, I, um, this is after the Indie Direct, which I didn't actually watch. Because I was in school, I really need to watch it because I've been getting more into indie games. And there's this game called Towerfall, who was, which was apparently developed by Matt Thorson. I believe that's the last name, but uh, that's actually who developed Celeste. And Madeline and Badeline are actually playable in it. Which is neat, and I really like it. It was also posted about on Theo's Insta Instapix page. Ah. But, uh, yeah, I really need to watch that Indie Direct soon. Because it was, like, what, 15 minutes? And Nintendo posted, like, all of the individual trailers from it separately. And each one was, like, a minute each. And I saw that there were, like, at least 15 games revealed. And I believe Undertale's release date was actually revealed as well there, which is interesting. Is Undertale an indie game, technically? I mean, because wasn't Undertale developed by, like, or at least mainly done by, like, one guy? But I don't know, but apparently Undertale's release date was revealed on the same day. Whether it was in the Indie Direct or not, I don't know, because I, I don't think, I don't think Undertale is an indie game. But then again, I know, like, nothing about Undertale aside from, you know, what the basic information about Undertale that everyone knows. Yeah, I really want to play Undertale too. Um, 
because I never got around to it, because, you know, I don't really have a PC. I have a MacBook, which I use only for, like, recording, and I, uh, I did recently download something to play, like, downloadable Windows games on it, so I actually downloaded a few, uh, fan-made games, but, like, nothing like Undertale or anything. Like, nothing really big. But yeah, I never played Undertale at all, and I I really want to. I'm glad it's coming to the Switch now in, like, a month. A little under a month. I think it's September 19th. But yeah. That Towerfall game, I, I need to see that, because, like, I saw Celeste, and I'm like, oh, it's probably good, but, like, I should probably still look at the trailer. Because I saw a screenshot of it, and it, it doesn't... I don't know if it looks like my kind of game, per se. Like, I saw one screenshot of it in the post that showed Madeline and Badeline playable as well. I mean, it looks interesting. It looks like something I could definitely get into, because... A, a year or two ago... Like, two years ago, I was, like, all Mario. Pretty much nothing else. Then I got into Zelda, and I was pretty much all Mario and Zelda for about a year. And now I'm kind of, like, expanding my gameplay. So, like, you know, with Celeste, which I just took a chance on, and look at me now, it's amazing. Um, so Celeste I took my chance on. I really want to start playing, uh, you know, major, like, other major Nintendo IPs, such as... Star Fox, um, I never played a Star Fox game. Metroid Primes look pretty cool, especially, you know, now's as good a time as ever with 4 coming to the Switch. Eh, who knows how long. I mean, I also played Kirby and Yoshi and Donkey Kong, stuff like that. Basically, all the major ones. Like, I never played an F-Zero game, though, and I, eh, I don't know if I'd want to. I mean, maybe, but I'm also getting into more indie games. Like, I have a whole list of games I want now. And many of them, just two years ago, you would, I would never think about trying. Like, I could pull up the list of games right now, but I probably shouldn't. But, uh, basically, like, Metroid, Star Fox, I never played any of those, really want to. A ton of indie games, like Fee, F-E, I believe it is. Yeah, F-E is how it's pronounced, I just don't know how it's spelled. But uh, that game looks pretty interesting. Uh, a lot of bullet hell style games like Enter the Gungeon is on the list. I want to try that game out. Also, huh, uh, what do I do with this? Right. No, aw! Enter the Gungeon. Um, I want to try out The Binding of Isaac. That looks really fun. Because I was watching uh, Versus. The Versus LP of that. Versus is a channel with like two LPers that I both that I watch both of. Uh so there's that. Enter the Gungeon. I wanna try a Bayonetta game too. Those look interesting. Kid Icarus Uprising looked really fun. Like all these games that back when they released. Either just new games that I didn't really pay much attention to. Or games that like back when they released was when I was only a Mario Zelda guy, so I didn't really pay much attention to. Or just flat out old games that I don't own yet, that I've wanted to own for a while, such as, like, say, Diddy Kong Racing. What was that? Like, Diddy Kong Racing, I want to try out Banjo-Kazooie games. Uh, maybe Ukulele, but I also heard some bad things about Ukulele. How it was, like, meant to be a Banjo-Kazooie game. Well, not meant, meant to be like a Banjo-Kazooie game, and it just didn't live up to any of the hype. Uh, but, I don't know. Basically, what I'm saying is, I don't even, I don't even remember how I got on this topic, something with Towerfall, I'm pretty sure, but I am expanding my library of games, and if you piece together the puzzle, earlier I said most of my LPs are gonna be blind, that way I can, you know, play more games with the limited time I have. All those games I just mentioned, you can, uh, a few of them might be potential future LPs, keep in mind. I don't know which ones yet, because I have so many in mind, but... 
Also, something else I really need to do. This is like pretty off topic from the rest, but I never got the Mario Rabbids DLC yet. And I loved it. I played the heck out of that, uh, out of Mario Rabbids, like the first, like the main story of it. So I really, really need to get that DLC. And the fact that it's like 10 hours, I think it's like 10 hour on average DLC. Okay, so anyways, countdown is only 20 this time. Uh, so we might be able to do this without too much time wasted, actually. 18. This wind blowing down, as you can see, really affects us. This can be very, very annoying. Just because, you know, you don't go nearly as high as you'd expect. Okay. I just realized, like, we have been going on so many different topics this episode. Does that mean my commentary is getting better, or does that mean I'm just running out of stuff to talk about in terms of the actual game? Which isn't bad, I mean, because, you know, this prompts more discussion with my one commenter per video. Eh, oh well. I have fun Let's Playing, even if no one watches. It gives me an excuse to replay through games that I otherwise wouldn't. And e no matter how much I enjoy the game, I think I actually touched on this in Super Paper Mario, but like no matter how much I love a game, I can't help but get bored after uh, like replaying through it. I can't help it but get bored. Like Super Paper Mario is one of the very few exceptions. Or if there's just a game that I haven't played in a while that I really have the urge to play again, but like... Something like, um, Twilight Princess, per se. I would not be able to replay that game without recording it. Like, just having to commentate everything, it makes it so much easier, so much more fun to just replay through a game. But that would honestly get very, very boring if I were just sitting there in silence replaying it. Like, Super Paper Mario, like I said, is probably the one exception. Dang it. Uh, other games with LP. Maybe Strikers, because, I mean, I'd get extremely angry, more so than when I was recording that, because recording also keeps the rage out of me for the most part. I mean, we saw two episodes ago, but for the most part, I'm less prone to rage when recording. So I could probably play Strikers again. I'd just probably give up a lot. Because I never actually beat Strikers before I LP'd it. Because I just kept giving up around, um... Once I got to the Striker Cup, I just couldn't do it. Like, I actually went into that LP thinking I might have to just discontinue it. Because I wouldn't be able to make it. Because I, I encountered PD Piranha on, like, episode 11 or something for the first time. Got absolutely wrecked. And then 10 episodes later, basically doubling the length of the LP, I get to him for the second time. Why do I not dash there? Um, and then I just killed him. I mean, not killed. It was a very close, nerve-wracking game, but I won like he didn't win a game. There we go. Oh, of course. Alright, let's get this done. Almost there. Oh, this, okay. This is a pretty tough section. Dang it. You want to jump on these clouds literally as soon as you land on them. Otherwise, into the spikes you go. Okay, this one is pretty tough. You want to land on the very top of these blocks, that way you don't have to climb too much, because, you know, then you'll lose your stamina. It's stuff like this, like, honestly, I know dashing is the main mechanic of this game, but when there are little sections like this where you aren't 
like supposed to dash. I just love it. I don't know why. Okay, there's nine. These last few challenges are gonna be very, very tough. Very tough indeed. And these I remember, like, I don't know why, I don't remember anything leading up to this point, but as soon as we get here to these last few challenges, I just remember it all. Okay, okay, well that was a short jump for some reason. I'm hoping we don't need another dash going into that section. I don't believe we should. We'll find out. Next, I don't think you can do that without dashing the second time. Well, Prime focusing hours have begun. And hopefully they're... I, I don't know where I'm going with that sentence. Just kind of died, that's all. I tried to say something clever from my deck, but... Okay, that has to be diagonal. Updraft. Updraft. What, do you just call like a downward wind a downdraft? Because that doesn't sound right at all. Like, I think I've just been calling it, I don't know what I called it during this LP, but I know I was always thinking like, do I call this a downdraft? And then I'm like, no, that sounds stupid. It's like a downdraft does sound stupid. Like, I don't think that's a thing. Or that's not what you call it at least. Alright, anyways, we made our way through that. That's a pretty difficult part. Alright, we are at 8. And that this is where uh, you were taught that you can jump off of walls like that. <laughs> Granted, we've been doing it since, like, the first episode. But, I mean, hey. It's that cool, you know? And I still haven't mastered it. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Madeline. Why is this so difficult right now? Why can't I reach that? Am I... This is really confusing me. Because, like, I, sh I should reach that. Okay, that was the issue. I think we're just pressing it too early. Maybe? I'm really confused. There we go. Well, that's unfortunate. What time is it right now? Oh, shoot. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to record a second episode after this. I was planning on recording earlier, but then I uh, had to help my parents with something, and now it looks like I only have time for one episode. Will this work? It did! Yes, I'm so cool. Okay, this area is really weird. Like, the combination of different directional dashes you have to do to get these crystals. Because, like, sometimes you think, oh, I probably have to go up here. Excuse me. I'm getting way too many texts from the same person. I should probably answer them. Okay, now that that is out of the way... I know, Madeline, I see you bopping around, you're just anxious to finish this. My bad. We have to do this with only one dash. And then that one with only one dash. Okay, one down, two down, got it. And this is two, all right. We got here bit quicker than I expected, honestly. I guess I should be proud of that. Okay. 
Okay, this was the tough cloud section, I remember. Because that one, that pink one, it's so close to those spikes, you can't even, like, jump off of it. What you have to do- whoa, that was weird. What you have to do there is just flat out walk off, like, land on it close enough to the edge that as soon as you're on it, you can just walk right off. And that can kind of trip you up after, you know, jumping off of so many. Just switching it up to have to all of a sudden uh, walk off. That messes me up quite a few times. Right, come on, we're almost there. I believe... I want to say that one is just another, like, joke thing. It's just like, okay, you made it. You, you practically made it now, like... I don't think there's any actual challenge for one. No, there isn't. Alright, cool. I'll probably end up dying here anyways. Nope. We made it! But nothing special. Instead, go down here. Hidden battling. That was amazing! I can't believe we did that! Nothing can stop us. Did I kind of half forget Madeline's voice? Or Badeline's? You're scaring me right now. Okay. Yeah, this one can be a bit tough. Oh god, that has to be diagonal. Okay. Excuse me for a second. Okay. Friend update, someone just found a spider in their bedroom. <laughs> Just in case you care. Okay! I was very close. Oh, dang it, I don't know what I was thinking there. Okay, this one actually isn't all that bad. I just jump on that, and done. <laughs> 41 minutes, no more running. Whew. And we get the same cinematic scene as before. With that, Jesus! With 222 deaths, I don't even know what I want. I don't even know what I want. I don't even want to know what I got on that on my first try. We finished Chapter 7, The Summit's B-Side. Next time, we are heading into the Epilogue B-Side. Just kidding, it doesn't have one. We're heading into the B-Side of the Core. And hopefully we don't have to complete Chapter 6's B-Side to get in. Because remember how we needed four Crystal Hearts to get into the uh, A-Side? Well, I don't know. We might not have enough. We might need them all. I don't know. We'll find out next time. If we do need more, I'll probably just go to my old save file because I really don't feel like going through reflection again. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time with more Celeste.